Right, in today's video, we're going to a park that I actually used to visit a long time ago, about the time this map is set, 2004. It's a map in the UK, it's called Derby Storm. You can't see anything yet because you actually have to go and turn the lights on. So uh, let's get started. Right. So for me, my monitor is super dark. I actually have to be like really careful finding where it is. It's probably easier for everybody else, but from this start location, you go to the right of this door, turn around, you'll notice this thing here, which if you look up, you can turn the lights on. As you can see, and as you may have seen in the edit I made last Friday, you basically get this awesome park to play around on. Something that actually exists in the UK. I used to come to this park actually in the floor above. I'm not sure where it is in relation to this. Maybe it's like this part here. I used to hold Flatland events, which I used to go to. But we're not doing Flatland today. We are going to do some street park various. Okay, that wasn't quite what I expected. Yeah, it's like a really nice looking park, if I do say so myself. It's kind of like orange hue over everything. Reminds me exactly of my memory of this park. Kind of got a nice bit of UK kind of griminess to it. It's not like a shiny, I don't know, fancy modern park or anything like that. Got that kind of UK shittiness to it, which is nice. Got to get a proper decade in. Yeah, it just flows. There's tons of like weird stuff you can do on this thing. So, we'll kind of get to it one by one. Just playing around on this thing is pretty fun. Get up. No, that ain't gonna work. Alright. First thing is this. Okay, that was unexpected. You've got this like big box here, which you can wall ride from. It's a bit hard to get exactly what you want off it. I knew that wasn't going to work. Still getting used to the trick mod, like I can't remember combinations for a lot of these tricks. But this thing, obviously it's just like your big, cool box type of thing. But, you do get some other avenues. Actually missed everything completely. Go from here transfer all the way over to that wall. There's a bunch of like transfer ideas you can get. There's also this thing. Obviously pipe's not too great with like going up to stuff like this and doing like a nice pick or something. It generally either glitches out or unless the magnets work, you're gonna have a bad time. Can we go forward from here? No. This is another thing I did in the edit. I actually did a manual on top. Because, yeah, doing like a stall is actually really tricky. The game doesn't want you to do it. So it's actually easier to get on top and just do like a manual style trick. Which doesn't really make much sense to be honest, but so that should be way harder, but it's just the way the engine is. Can't be helped. Oof. Oh, the spine actually is really good as well. Let's go back over here. I don't know. I don't even like have to do a trick on it. Just riding it like this feels nice. 
going up it fakey and then 118 over also feels really good if I can get it yeah like that I love how that feels super cool transfer what else do we have like this part of the park to the left is more like a little tech area I think if you're into the bigger stuff, you can stay on this side. Ooh. Just noticed you can hit this wall as well. Yeah. Bam. Um, okay. It's the first time I tried that and it worked. Pretty happy about that. Can we? Bam. Um, like an overpeg type of thing. I also like landing on a manual, like on an edge, so that you kind of end up going back down to fakey. It's like a foo for new type. Oh, but you know that style of trick, like a breakless version. Get like a big half pipe. Obviously, not much of a half pipe person. I prefer weird tech stuff. Like that. I kind of find my own weird ways to ride this stuff. Can we get. I was going to do a decade to manual, but. Seemed like a bit much. Get a nice little transfer along here as well. Actually, probably better the other way. Yeah, this is like one of my favorite parks I think I've seen in this game. There is that kind of nostalgia that I have because I've actually been here. It's one of the few places I've played in this game that's kind of like a something that I know in real life. I don't know, this is the stuff that you've seen in videos or whatever that sometimes appears but especially being British like maps don't really come up too often manual that. Yeah. As you can see, like I'm clearly at home doing like weird tech stuff rather than big stuff. I try and ride the big ramps. Just kind of like a hodgepodge. You got this little banked wall. Which you can kind of fly into. It's a little hard to get off it. Because you've got this like really low wall, which kind of wants to destroy you. This kind of mini half pipe thing is also kind of interesting. It's hard to ride, but you also get this cool area. It's like these kind of metal sheets, boards or something, but they're really good for like combo type stuff. If you saw my edit, what do I do now? Something like this. Get onto this one. I did like a hang five something, which screwed up. And then like gapped between the two slanted ones. Could probably do it this way as well. They're a bit steep. Yeah, you can like ride them like that, which is also cool. You get a ton of different ways to ride this stuff. It's like another cool little tech area. Just trying to recreate stuff that I did before now. Going fast enough? Not quite. You kind of get the idea though. You also have this bit here. It's like a... Kind of like an under construction section. I didn't actually do anything on this. Maybe I'll figure out something to do. Bar spin to manual on top. Figure out a way down this. I was gonna try and nose down it, but it's pretty steep. <laughs> yeah, low roofs. It's not like a super high Kind of 
you see there's like that flak thing in the middle that actually gets in the way a little bit so you kind of want to blast from here into the into this behind you either like hit the roof or something terrible happens okay let's do like a about the nose i suppose you could wall ride it as well actually okay one by one I didn't actually do a nose that time. And just the variations, like whatever you can think of on this one little section, you know? Just the nose to. Oh, you can grind it as well. Grind the bottom as well. This has got like a ton of different variations. Yeah, I just wanted to ride it down, but it's actually quite awkward. What was the other thing I was thinking of? I don't know, I'm scatterbrained. Yeah, the other thing is, is this like little mini ramp in the back part of the park. Which, I don't know. It's definitely not easy to ride. It is rideable. This may be a good idea to use with like the physics uh, stats mod, which got made. That will maybe, I guess, if this is coming on Wednesday, maybe Friday, I'll be looking at the stats, playing around, seeing what new stuff is possible. Okay, little disaster. It's kind of an attempt at mini ramp riding. Mini ramps aren't really a thing that exists in maps in this game. Not on that part, you can definitely do a disaster then. So yeah, it's like a cool little... Let's open it up to the side. But yeah, like that's really cool. Hard, but it's not something you really see anywhere else. You can also transfer over. This spine in the background is really good for backflips. I don't know, it feels really nice. speed. Yeah, the spines in this map all feel really good. Like, actually rideable. That's not always the case in this game. Can we get across? No. As you can see, there's a ton of stuff you can do on this map. Got a bunch of different, like, big, small, in-between stuff. And... I haven't actually shown it yet, but there is another part of this park which I haven't introduced. And it's actually something I didn't realize existed when I did the edit. So, apologies. So the person who made the park, uh, Frosty P, I actually completely missed that part of the park and didn't do anything on it. This is through here. Yeah, why did I not notice that? There were giant blue doors which I completely missed. And here you go. A whole other section to the park. Which I'm actually riding for the first time. It's embarrassing to say, considering I spent a bunch of time doing an edit on this map. I don't know. I was having tons of fun with that part of the map as it is. Just goes to show you how good the map is. Kind of disaster. I was hoping for a bit more speed on the fakie bit. This part of the park I haven't actually seen, but I'm not sure if this is just what they use for comps and stuff. I know they use the other section as well. Actually, does Derby Storm even still exist? I don't actually know since I, don't know, I left England and kind of went out the scene, or the Flatland events that used to be held here. The person that organised them well, stopped organising them, so I didn't really have a reason to come here anymore. I'm not a park rider or anything. I am riding this one section a hell of a lot. Those. And the 
this stuff looks pretty cool. Ooh. Yeah, there's this nice little griminess to this park. Almost makes me miss England. Almost. Can we get a foot plant? Okay. Is this... A, yeah, it's a spine. Front flipping spines, like you do. That looked like a hot mess, but we made it. Still trying to get used to the trick mod. But yeah, like if you learn like all the nuances of this park, I think you'd have a ton of fun getting lines and stuff. It does remind me of those kind of like old UK BMX comps. Got the nice kind of griminess to it. If anybody remembers what like the old bike show parks used to look like. It's kind of like this sort of layout. I can't remember what they were like exactly to be honest, but super high decky. Yeah, getting used to using all these new tricks and remembering all the combinations and everything is still a bit of a challenge to me. I remember the decade because I just love that trick. I've been getting a lot of disasters recently. I guess if I kept working on those, I could actually figure out how to do like a consistent disaster maybe. Ooh. Yeah, I think that about covers everything I wanted to show on this map. I did an edit on that other part of the park, which I think went pretty well. It's a nice little short three minute edit. Kind of a ton of cool little tricks that I figured out. It's not even touching this part of the map. This park does have some, okay, let's try and get like a wall ride type of thing on that. I'm not sure if it'll work, but. Okay, we overshot it. Too much speed. Okay. Wasn't quite as dramatic as expected. Got about that trick as well. I do like the on turn downs as well. They're really nice. I'm trying to figure out the best way to use them or show them off. When you turn, they look a bit kind of severe, but especially compared to your regular turn downs, which look pretty nice, I would say. That was pretty cool. Yeah, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Okay. Keep going till I screw up. And we'll call it a day, I think. This is the Derby Storm Park, based on the way the park was in 2004. Which is, I don't know, kind of crazy because that was literally the time I was going there. And for that alone, it just makes me like this park because we don't really get a lot of English stuff. Park wise, it's all very America orientated. I'm super happy that this map's a thing. Still going. No, we're not. Alright. Yep, this is Derby Storm 2004 by Frosty P. I'll link everything you need in the description. Hope you like it. Uh, Friday, I think I'll be doing more on this. This whole stats thing we've got going on. This is actually like a separate stats menu for this park alone. When you go into other maps, you get a more kind of advanced version of this. And I'll be showing that version. So I look forward to that. Please let me know what else you want to see. Like, subscribe, all the other stuff. Trying to get to 30,000 subscribers this year, if possible, an extra 10,000. So your help is very much appreciated. 
plentymod.com and I will see you next time.